Hey. Yes. Why do you think you have so many water bottles? Why do you think you can't mind your own business? <laughs> So today, we're gonna to talk about Fahnflasche. If you don't know what a Fahnflasche is, which if you've never been to Germany and never looked any of this stuff up, you probably wouldn't, a Fahnflasche is a bottle that has a deposit attached to it when you buy it at the supermarket. Then you can bring the bottle back to the supermarket, put it in a little machine, and you get the deposit back. The deposit is called a Fond. This is by most accounts a great system. It incentivizes people to recycle, you feel like you're getting money even though you're really not, but you definitely have to be conditioned to make the most of Fond. For example, if you're an American like me and you only have two settings, trash and recycling, this whole Fond thing is way off your radar. A good German will do their Fond probably every week, maybe every couple days, who knows. But I think there's a lot of people out there who are like me I don't remember to do this shit for like four weeks and then you walk in to the grocery store like a broke ass Santa Claus carrying all your little gifts, all your fond for the little kids. I mean this is, there's so much in here. This is half of what we have. I didn't want to embarrass myself too much so I only put half of what we have in the bag. There are so many types of bottles in Germany. There, there, it's like Dr. Seuss could not write about how many bottle types there are. Short ones, fat ones, round ones. Come on. It's not just water bottles, stuff like this. It's a lot of things. See, so wine, wine is a fond. And you also, you have to be a little bit of a detective to figure out if something's a fond. Sometimes it's like hidden on the bottle and you can't find it anywhere. There it is. This one, I don't know if you guys, can you guys see that? It says, well, yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but it says Mehrweg Fondflasche. Mehrweg Fondflasche. And what that means is that it's a Fondflasche that can be recycled multiple times. So when you give it back to them, who knows, in like a year, you might be drinking from this same bottle again. I don't know if that's gross or not. Another problem, which is not really a problem, it's just a minor inconvenience. Sometimes you go to a grocery store and they don't take the Fond, for a bottle that you might have even bought from that grocery store. And then you have to go find a different machine to take it. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. You've even got little guys like this, this smoothie bottle. I drink like three of these smoothies a day. These had like a whole campaign on their bottles telling people to like go online and vote for them to become a Fondflasche. So apparently now you have to be like an influencer bottle to be a fond flasha. You have to be popular enough. The kids have to really care about you for you to be a fond flasha. I don't think this one is. I should have voted. So we have multiple things we want to do today, but part of it is gonna have to be taking these guys back. Also, when you walk into the grocery store and you get to the machine and you've got this bag full of fond, you think you're gonna be rich. Seriously, I every single time it fools me and I'm like, oh man, I'm coming out of here. This is 30 euros. It's like a dollar fifty usually. I don't know why I'm complaining. I think it's just because I haven't been disciplined enough to figure out a good system for myself yet. I don't know. I have no idea if there's people who do or don't. I don't even know if there's valid criticisms of the Fond system, but maybe there are. I don't know them. But I think anything that incentivizes recycling is a good thing. So all in all, I'd say it's a net positive, even if I haven't quite figured out how to do it myself yet. I cannot underscore how much shame you feel when you take a Fond Flasche and put it in the machine and it spits it back out at you. It makes this noise like, oh, you idiot. You, how dare you.
Time to go make this bread. As we head to the grocery store, I feel that I should say that I'm gonna film it on my phone because you learn really quickly in Germany that people are very serious about privacy. So if I walk around with this big camera, it makes people nervous. I should also mention, I might have made it sound like the Fon system just gives you money. No, it's like a deposit to the grocery store. So you just get credit to the grocery store, not credit to like life. So you don't always get rid of all the fond that you went to the grocery store with, which means it has to hang out with you for a little bit longer in a little bag. But that's okay, it accompanies you on your errands. And then there are other ways to get rid of your bottles when it's really time to get rid of them. We still haven't found a place for our bottles, but we're making a quick pit stop at a little market. Hopefully we'll find a place soon. We, uh, we got a little hungry, so we're taking a detour. I got a very traditional German dish called a quesadilla. We were running some errands for them, and now we're eating, and Tommy gets how to eat you. I can't figure out how to eat this quesadilla. He pulled it up. <laughs> I'm eating it like a piece of pizza. That's why you get the good old Indian food. So we're just gonna kind of continue on our day and hopefully find a spot to get rid of all our fond, but I think, Amber, you said it best. What did you say? Yeah, it's about fonding yourself on the journey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For those of you keeping track at home, I think Amber has now had a coffee in every video? No. -uh. Is that true? I don't actually know if that's true. <laughs> So we have been basically all over Dusseldorf today, but I actually have to agree with Amber. I think I think we found ourselves. Are you gonna trademark that or <laughs> the paperwork's already been filed, babe? Right? <laughs> If there's no fawn to be had, then you just gotta recycle it. But make sure you put it in the right one, because that's also a cardinal sin. If you've carried a fawn flasha all over the city, you know it's a fawn flasha, but you're just tired of carrying it around, you still have one option left. Take it over to a trash can, set it next to it, and someone less fortunate will pick it up and they'll go get the fawn from it. It's probably my favorite part of the fawn system, actually, because no one planned it, people just started doing it. 